shoot that close and mean it. Aren't you forgetting something? You robbed me and you'll regret it. Well, I never went in for robbing the passengers, but it ain't a bad idea. Here you, tie that on my saddle. Keep them up. I'd get back in that line if I was you, son. Let's take this bill. You don't want to take a pot shot to him. Now, right, let's go. Get in there. Let's get out of here. We don't want to see you all day. He might come back. You do it! Ah! What's the matter with my muffins lately? They don't seem to puff up right. Not oh, bad, Frosty, again. Oh, I ain't hungry. What's wrong? I just can't eat my own cooking. I lose my appetite. You know, pickings are pretty slim on this part of the country. Yeah, and after us waiting for two hours for that stage to come by. Bellums. Jack Bellums, that's his name. I told you I'd seen that young fuzztail somewhere before. Where was it? Uh, I disremember exactly. Come on. Well, I didn't get a real plain look at him. He's one of them mean kind of looking Where fuzzies. was it? Calaboose up at Denver. <laughs> so he's been to prison, eh? Well, he always was an ordinary little brat. Say, I thought you always claimed that the law never caught up with you. I was only there visiting a friend. Say, how'd you come to know him? Well, his dad was the foreman of my ranch before I hit the trail. Last I heard of him, he was still running it. I wonder how old White Slide's ranch is getting on anyway. You ain't aiming to go back. Well, 20 years on the trail has altered my looks considerable. We got a murder charge hanging over here. Oh, they never remember me. Yeah, I got a hunch to go back and kind of look around. Oh, well, if you got a hunch, I know we ain't going back. Your hunches never led to nothing but trouble. I'd like to meet that sheriff that chased us up north here. He's to blame for all this. much to tell, Sheriff. He just busted in out of nowhere. Oh, no, Mother. Oh, it was terrifying. He robbed all of us. 
Merciful heaven. Mr. Sheriff, I have three dollars in my purse. Nobody and cares I, about I, that. I, Sheriff, we're looking for you to get these men. Well, that happened more than 30 miles down the trail. Ain't my habit to crowd in on another sheriff's district. Sorry, Folsom. We did all we could. Find Kramer. Tell him I want to see him. Sheriff, we're thinking that this may explain the losses we've had in our cattle. Well, from what I hear, Pecos Bill, if he had an outfit working your cattle, you wouldn't think so. You'd know so. You looking for me? You know I had money coming in on that stage? Well, none of our boys done it. It must have been Pecos Bill, like they say. Laugh him leaving us on the short end, ain't it? Well, if you think it's so funny, it'll be your job to see that he stays clear of these parts. Yeah. Hello, Jack. Holly. Why, I didn't know you. You look so different. You've changed, too. Uh, is my old man here? He asked me to meet you. I guess he knew who I'd want to see first. for you. Brought it all the way from Denver. Don't you want to look at it? Well, suppose we wait until your father is... Oh, no. This is between you and me. I've been thinking about you, Polly, ever since I went away. Now you're even putting enough out. Now what's wrong? You haven't forgotten, have you? Well, you've been away so long, it'll take us a while to get acquainted again. Oh. Sure is in a hurry to get to the ranch. My job to look out after the horses. You near run the life out of them. This is Will's mower. Your father put him on as foreman at the ranch after you left. Well, get back on the job. And don't be buttoning into other people's business. See you later, Collie. All right, Will.
here. I'm sure glad you're home. Hi, Dad. Well, we've been looking forward to this, haven't we, Collie? You two will have a lot to talk over. I missed you, son. She know where I've been. Nobody knows around here. And is that foreman that's making her act so skittish? Well, there's nothing serious between them. Oh, yeah? Collie's a strange girl, and deep. You just keep a close rein on that temper of yours. It'll work out. Did you see uh, Folsom while you were in town? <laughs> no, and I'm not going to. I told you that I'm riding straight from now on. Why, the big Tom Hudson and Harvard Jake. Keep going. Oh, get out. Get out. What are you stopping here for? Listen, them fellas could get us took on here as regular hands. Where'd you know them? Well, it just slips my mind for the minute. Yeah? But we were thicker than thieves. Come now. on. Well, there's a little jail down to Cripple <laughs> Creek. I just happened to be passing there one day. What a jail you ain't been in. I never been north of Montana. <laughs> Come on, let's go back. No, I got a better idea. Hey. Hello, boys. I just rode up from El Paso County. Have you heard anything of a couple of men going by the name of Hobble Jake and Big Tom Hudson? What do you want them for? Russell, bank hold up down by Cripple Creek. Names don't mean anything to me. If come by here, we'd sure know about it. Well, I heard it was up this way somewhere. I reckon I'll take a look around. We'll keep our eyes skinned. You can count on us. All right, boys. I'll keep in touch with you. He's got deputy sheriff written all over him. I'd know the breed anywhere. What about our belongings? You can go back if you want to. I'm getting out of here. Like we got regular jobs cut out for us now, Frosty. Uh, it's sure going to be great lolling back, tasting somebody else's cooking for a while. <laughs> Jackasses, more like it. Howdy. What are you selling? Nothing. We do fancy leather work, blacksmith and horse doctoring, men's saddles and old harness. Do a little fancy carpentering and masonry. I have been known on occasions to pull a tooth. What's your name? I, I'm Red Johnson. Ever worked for this section before? That wouldn't surprise me, none. You'll find some busted harness down by the stables. Fix it up and you can sit in with the boys for supper. It's a deal. That outfit's a mighty poor recommendation for a couple of harness workers. Uh, yeah. Get out. Go on. Ran on to hobble Jake and Hudson hightailing it down the road. They said they'd cut their string. Didn't tell me about it. They ain't even collected their month's pay yet. That's what I told them if they said they heard of a gold strike. That tightwads wouldn't even let us in on it. Wouldn't tell us where it was. Uh, looks like we'll have to hustle our own food for a while. <laughs> Can any of you boys cook? I'll take a turn at it. I've tasted your food. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> well, I'll leave the you boys to rustle up a meal between you. <laughs> 
Hello there. Howdy, ma'am. Dad wants to see you up at the house as soon as you're finished. Well, that'll be right soon, ma'am. And I'll see if I can't find some more work around the place for you. Yes, and thank you. Must want us for supper. Gosh, it's going to be good to get my lip over somebody else's cooking. Pretty girl, ain't she? You pretty don't have to tell her. Hey, you ain't taking a fancy to her. You might say that. Why, you mangy old moss head, you're old enough to be her father. <laughs> yeah, I reckon I am. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't you tell me one time something about your having a daughter? I don't remember, Frosty. Well, Dagnabbit, if a man has a daughter, he remembers it, don't he? You've made. Clear out of here, all of you. Come on. I don't know what I was thinking of. Get out, get out. Here. Did one of you men turn out a meal? No, neither one of us can cook worth a hang. Oh, you're too modest, Frosty. He's one of the best grub wranglers in Colorado. Then pile in and get busy. Well, I rode herd on a cook stove for quite a spell. Oh, well, it may be a laughing matter to you. You know, doggone well, I can't eat my own cooking. Mighty fine chuck you throw, partner. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, but those biscuits. Them's muffins. What about them? Never ate better. Yeah. What's the idea of the shooting irons? Jack come home today. Ain't you seen him? Yeah. Johnson. You know anything about hounds? Well, I know something about humans. Dogs and men have got a lot in common. Can you handle guns? Well, it looks like you got a job. You can take over the pack and clean out the wild game around here. Mountain lions, wolves, and coyotes. Well, I don't take the steady work. Your partner's a top hand at cooking. I'll put you both on and pay extra. Forty-five a month. Well, that kind of money's hard to turn down. I reckon we'll stay. Then it's settled. I'll show you the dog out. Talk to you, Will. I had a feeling you might. How's the roundup coming? I thought you had something to say to me. Well, I. I don't know how to begin. It isn't easy. I guess not. Oh, but it isn't what you think. I've been looking everywhere for you, Connie. I didn't break anything up. Found them down at the bar. What are you boys doing in town? We was run off the ranch. Deputy came after us from down south. Well, he won't waste much time looking for you. You better ride up to Buffalo Canyon and hide out for a few days. Well, say, uh, wasn't that young Bellins came in on the stage today? Drove in this morning. Well, White Slides Ranch ought to be about ready for calling. Yeah, that range is downright crowded. Ain't near enough a feed for all them cattle. <laughs> hmm. All right, boys, let's ride in there and spit them up. <laughs>
Good morning, man. Good morning, Red. I'd be careful going in there if I were you. Oh, they're not as mean as they look. That's just mistrust. They'll get over that when they find I don't mean to hurt them. You don't beat dogs. No. It's not the way to get along with animals. I stopped coming to see them because someone was always mistreating them. That one's Kane. Yeah, and she's a beauty. I figured she was leader of the pack. You do know a lot about dogs, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her blood's too rich. Makes her high strung. Would you hold her for me for a minute? So she don't run over me when I go to feed her? <laughs> You'll have to learn manners. Yeah. You can win her over. They'll all make friends with you. Your help, it won't take any time at all. Something wrong here. That's what I've been thinking. Callie's coming up short. We were due for a heavier gather on this range. You reckon there's been rustling? Well, the only outfit in these parts that haven't been. I've been looking for it to start. You hold them right here. What's up? Somebody's cut a slice out of our herd. What do you figure the loss? Well, Callie's two or three hundred heads short. Well, there's nothing unusual about that. With a herd the size of ours, wild animals and local weed can account for it. I don't see it that way. I'll take a couple of the boys and have a look around. You'll do nothing of the kind. I don't want you busting into the roundup. Johnson here's taking over the hounds. He'll put a stop to our losses. You're the boss. You've got your work cut out. Yeah. What makes you think somebody's on the rustle? I've never seen animals grow big enough to carry away 200 head of stock in one night. <laughs> I see you got right down to work. What's sticking in your craw? I suppose it's news to you that the rustlers have been cutting in on our herds. <laughs> you got the saddle on the wrong horse, Dad. I told you that was the Cap Folsom. I'm holding you to that. It sure don't add up right. The old man must have his reasons for making somebody a present of all those cattle. Yep. Well, that's a fair middle looking horse you got there. What's his name? Spot. Suppose you get another horse out of the stable. I think I'll ride him. I don't lend my horses. Do you own him? Well, I've never bought him. I raised him from a colt and broke him. I guess he belongs to White Slides. <laughs> well, uh, seeing as how this ranch belongs to my father, uh, I didn't make him mine. I've got a roundup to take care of, and I need this horse. You know, it might interest you to know that I'm taking over the job as foreman around here. It sure does. What's the idea? You may own a horse, but this saddle cost me $60. Now, let's see if you can ride it. You keep out of this. Can't you see he ain't packing a gun? I aim to from now on. Well, I'll let it pass this time. I'm giving you notice. You won't last long around here. I got a hunch you won't either. Much obliged, Johnson. Well, I don't ordinarily horn in on another man's play. Looks to me like the cards are stacked. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? You ain't aiming to pull up stakes, are you? He's trying to rawhide me. I started the job and I'll finish it. I'll wait until after the roundup's over.
Well, if they stole your gal's ranch, let me handle it. It's quick and clean. I can't let you do that. No trouble at all. Just watch them kittles till I get back. No, they it? won't get us anywhere, Frosty. Kills them deader than any gun. Oh, no, that potato peeler away. You've got to figure out some way to get that ranch in the girl's hands for keeps. Well, ain't there some record or deed or legal flap doodle you can dig up? No, afraid not. Mm, looks like Bellin's got us coming and going, don't it? Well, there's one thing we can do. What? We can keep them from rustling this ranch blind. And if Bellin's won't do anything about it, maybe we can't. Who's here? I want to talk to Folsom. We've been looking for you to come around. Hello. Come in. Your men raided white slides last night. Now, don't get excited. You'll get your usual cut. I didn't come here for a cut. This rustling's got to stop. Well, that's too bad. I had an idea it was just getting started. You try it again and I'll call in the sheriff. <laughs> That'd be good, a man with your record yelling for the law. I've served out my time. Yeah, but there are plenty more accounts against you they don't know about. Now, there's no use trying to get out. Nobody's found a way yet. My old man sure had you pegged right, Folsom. Mind if I share the view with you? There's lots of it. <laughs> the dogs have certainly taken to you. You worried? No, just thinking. Things sometimes look a lot clearer up here. The boys tell me that you're set in marrying Jack Bellum. Well, not exactly. You love him? I feel sorry for him. He'd always had such a quick temper, and I think I could help him. <laughs> well, human beings are a lot like dogs. Sometimes a kind word will bring them around, others just so bad that nothing can help them. But I keep feeling that he may be able to straighten himself out. And I hate to disappoint his father. After all, he has brought me up. Well, you've got something else to think about. What about Wills? You've picked up a lot in the short time you've been around here, haven't you? <laughs> well, outsiders can often see things a lot plainer. I don't know about Wells. He's never come right out and said anything. I'm not sure that he loves me. I'm not even sure I love him. What is love? Oh, everybody knows what love is. That's no answer. Well, I... I reckon real love is a lot like the feeling the father has for his daughter. You've been married. Yes, yeah, she was a thoroughbred. Just like you. I don't know. Got quite the right mix yet. It's hard to tell when I got in enough bacon powder. You ever tried tasting one? I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> That's 
Yes, sir. What's it? Talk. Here. Oh, you ain't going without me. You might be missed. Oh, Dagnabbit. Hey, Dagnabbit. Hey, Get all the gravy. There was rustling going on. Come on, boys, let's go. Is that grass for? Blamed if I know. Hey, looks like the whole outfit's come. Move and I'll drill you. What's eating you, Wells? Oh, you stolen Pecos. I got you cold. Get moving. Now, wait a minute, Wells. We're both on the same side of the fence. I was after the rustlers when you busted in. Look out! What's your idea, Pecos? What'd you spoil my aim for? Now, Wells here's got things twisted. I didn't want him to get hurt. Well, it's him or us now that he knows who we are. You're through any way you look at it. It doesn't matter what you do with me. I'm not so sure of that. You may not care about yourself, but I'm gambling you're willing to help Collie. What's she got to do with it? I wouldn't tell you even now. But I got some unfinished business here at White Slides. Now, you sit down. Did you ever hear of Ben Wade? Nothing good about him. He was Collie's father. Ran out on her when she was a kid. He was run out. He and his partner started this ranch, and the partner was murdered, and he was blamed for it. 
He's been dodging the law ever since. Are you trying to say you're Collie's father? Are you trying to say he ain't? Well, then how'd Bellens get this ranch? He was my foreman. I left my family and everything in his care. Well, if that's true, Collie doesn't know anything about it. I'm hoping she'll never have to. If you're talking straight, I'll go to the law and prove it. I'll keep your name out of it. Uh, well, it's not as easy as that. There's no record of ownership. I doubt if there's anybody around here that even remembers the real story. It all adds up. If Bellins doesn't own this ranch, that must be why he didn't want me to go after those rustlers. That's what I'm working to find out. I'll back you up. Sorry I took a cut at you, Will. I wasn't aiming to kill you, though. I was just going to kind of pin your ears back, maybe. Well, here's the spot. Come on, boys. Get him. time for the outfit that's raiding our stuff. My losses don't amount to much. Maybe not, but I've lost over 500 head in the last two years. And this lead on Pecos Bill is the first real break we've had. Maybe we'd better ride out and look around. Might pick up some tracks. There was some shooting on the West Range. I'll show you. All right, let's get going. If they're looking for Pecos Bill, I reckon I better change my outfit. They'd never know me this way. Gonna start things humming? Well, I've spotted the rustler's hideout. I've got to get that posse up there some way, and chasing me is as good a way as any. Yeah. No, you better stay here, Frosty. Somebody might miss you. Oh, miss. Hey, get away from there, scat! Doggone you dogs. Them would have been the best muffins I ever made. I never see so many Cayuse tracks in all my life. Hey, sure. Look. Right, man. That's right. The papers. I ain't gonna miss this. Wait a minute. This may be a trick. You boys stay here with the herd. That posse keeps going, they're going to run right into the wrestler's hideout. Yeah, and they may be back here, too. Take my horse and get out. How about you? You're not looking for me. Now, come on, get. Cool. You must have doubled back. He's the slipperiest rider I ever see. Can't see any tracks. He must have turned back. He must be hiding out somewhere. Hey, 
think I'll stand by here? You couldn't have got by here without me seeing him. I was riding up to join you. Broke my stirrup and took a spill. The horse likely still left. Well, I'm all mean. You men keep your eyes open. No telling why, my deductive. Thought you said you lost a stirrup. Oh, I must have figured wrong. You sure did. You're going to cut about this. Oh, me? Well, that came from the barn. Careful, boys. It might be pickles. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Have you gone loco? I caught him trying to cover up. Look at those stirrups. He's right. They're not broken. He helped Pecos get away. Let me do that, ma'am. Why did you try to throw us off the trail? Just what do you know about Pecos Bill? Come on, come on. You can't lie out of this. I have nothing to say. I'm afraid I'll have to place you under arrest until you make up your mind to speak out. You're one of the best punchers I ever had. I hate to think that you've been playing in with the rustlers. Oh, Wills, you've got to say something. Come on. I'll dress a wound for you when we get to town. He'll talk. We're not letting this chance get by. I guess he don't stack up so high with you now. In some ways, I'm glad this happened. At least I know what to expect from you. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Frosty. Did you see Wills? Yes, I saw him. But he still won't say anything. Not even to me. How's the feeling in town? Well, that's what worried me. The ranchers have lost a lot of cattle, and I'm afraid they'll take it out on him. Well, I got a hunch things ain't as bad as they seem. Well, I don't know why, but just your saying that seems to help. But I still can't see oh, how... Quit it. You're crowding your troubles too hard. They'll work out all right. Thanks. I hope so. <laughs> First time I ever knowed you to have a hunch that promised good to anybody. We've got to get that boy out of jail. Things ought to be about ready now. Well, you can count on me to get six posse members and two deputy sheriffs. Uh, it'll take an army to bust that jail open. Well, and what you aiming to do? I'm leaving that in your hands. In my hand? Oh. Where I come from, we know how to deal with cattle rustlers. We've got law in this town. Sheriff Burley will handle that young wheel. Oh, the law is powerful, slow, swinging into action. We don't want this town overrun with outlaws and bandits, do we? Well, that's right, too. We ought to show Pecos Bill and his outfit just where we stand. You let one man off and there'll be no peace. For us law-abiding citizens. Uh, somebody's going to pay for the money I lost on that stage. The honest time we've done something about it. He ought to get a fair trial. Well, he's had plenty of time to talk. Ah, oh, come on. Let's make an example of him. Oh, let's oh, take it. Take it. Yeah, 
Not a bad jail for a town of this size. Come on, come on, hurry it up there. Get a move on you. We need a lower limb. Here, let me do that. Now, uh, maybe we'd better not be hasty about this now. We're giving you one more chance to speak up. Where is Acos Bill? Let her go. No, 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 now wait a minute, now wait, no. Uh, have you got any last requests to make? All right, Kramer, stretch it. Hold it! Take those ropes off him. I'll be waiting for the first man to follow. And you better come shooting. I can't stay here. It's too risky for you. It won't be for long. I just saw an old friend of mine, Cap Folsom. How does he fit in? He runs a hotel in town. Well, I've got a notion he runs something else than that around here, unless he's changed considerable since the last time I saw him. Uh, that would make him a rustler. Things are beginning to shape up all right. Where are you going? I got a call to make. Uh, I suppose I'd be missed if I went along. Holly, I want to talk to you. I think I've got a right to give you some advice. Well, what is it? Aren't you being a little unfair to Jack in all this? I'm sorry, but my mind's made up. You'll find you're making a big mistake. Seeing that you're in the mood for advice, Bellens, I got some for you. You should have known better than let those rustlers have a free hand. Why, what do you mean, Falsam? I've got a right to run my ranch any way I see fit. That's where you're wrong. This ranch belongs to the girl who just walked out of here. And you're going to see that she gets it. You can't prove nothing. I don't have to. Because you're getting out. You can't bluff me. The law will back me up. Bellens, that son of yours is a sneaking cow thief and you know it. You'd rather cut your right arm off than to go to the law. I'm going to give you a chance to get out of here peaceful. You better take it. Because if you don't, I'll be coming back. What's the trouble? Take the field. He gets away. Get your horses. They're gone. Where's my horse? Well, I thought you'd finished with him for a spell. I put them all back in the stable. Well, you lie. Come, come, come on. Come on. Come on. Why, you mutton-headed fool! Well, I was only trying to help out. They've gone by, all right. Not a sign of him anywhere. We could have caught him, but he had too big a start on us. He seems to know the country better than we do. I could have sworn he headed for town, but there wasn't a yelp out of that pack till we rode by. Wait a minute. I knew I'd seen him before. He's changed, but it's the same man. What are you talking about? That new hand. It's Ben Wade. Wade? Holly's father. Well, what are you worried about? Wasn't he run out of here on a murder charge? We'll turn him over to the sheriff. Oh, you stay out of it. I'll take care of it my own way.
Yes, sir. Folsom in? Yes. Folsom. Good afternoon, Bellins. Something I can do for you? Plenty. I suppose you're here again about that son of yours. That can wait. Ben Wade is back. Well, that doesn't mean anything to me. Maybe it will when you know that he's picked his bill. Now, you've got to help me. He warned me to get off the ranch. Don't come tear squeezing around me. That's your play, not mine. You're the one who killed his partner. And I ain't going to sweat for you any longer. But you're the only one who could talk. And you're not going to. Then we're playing this hand together. All right, Bill. Now, you go on back to the ranch, and I'll see that Pecos doesn't get to you. Hey, careful of that door to make my muffins fall. Boys tell me Pecos pulled Wills' head out of a noose this morning. Yeah, so I heard. You know anything of that pardon of yours around lately? Last I knew, he was out looking after his traps. Well, I see him at supper. Popeye Polka. out of it this time. You to go easy in your arm. What's the matter? Did your gun jam on you? I guess the posse finally caught up with you. Where they stand. Let him go. If there's any good in him, it'll come out now. Thanks, Wade. He gunned me down from behind. 
just like he got you a partner. I guess I... I guess I'm tougher than he figured. This is one time I won't be missed. What? Holtham got him. Jack and the boys went after him. We're clear now. But you fellas don't need to worry. I'll pay off. We'll drive the cattle on over Gore Pass tonight. Yeah. What are you doing up here? Hmm. Things was getting a little too hot for me down at the ranch. Stuck out here, miss out on everything. You know, Pecos, I was thinking, if I had one of them old time muffin pans. Yeah, that might do it. Yeah. I better get going. Boys may need help. The wheels, the sheriff's coming. They must be looking for you, Will. We're stolen. You can still make it. You're under arrest, Moore. You better not try a getaway. You're riding the wrong trail, Sheriff. Folsom's the man you want. Yeah, that's a lie. What's he got to do with you? He just finished Bellens and lit out for the hills. That's straight, buddy. The old man cast in, but he named Folsom first. Some of our boys went after him, but he may need help. Yeah, where do you think you're going? I'm the only one who knows where his hideout is. I'll take you there. All right, but remember, you're still under arrest. Them. Uh, it's no wonder I've been holed up in that kitchen so long.
it is, Ned. Now the posse's coming. Uh, I might have known it. Leave it to a sheriff to spoil a good party any time. Well, there's somebody I gotta see. Well, look out now. Don't let old nickel plate see you. Dirty dishes. I've seen you throw a gun. I'm giving you first shot. That's more of a chance than you ever gave Bellums for my partner. Sharks coming in. You hurt? No, it's just a crease. Uh, you must be getting slow on the draw. Well, Sheriff, I guess you'll be wanting this to is, take... This uh, Red Johnson, one of the men I've been telling you about. Looks like this was a man's fight even for you. Reckon I owe you a good deal on this roundup. Too bad you'll have to be riding on. You know, for a Sheriff, he seems downright human. No, don't be too sure. He probably beats his old woman. <laughs> I'll see that he gets it. You might even say that it's a present from Folsom, son. If you say, I'll raise your pay and let you do all the cooking. Oh, no, ma'am. Uh, thank you just the same. All right. Are you sure? 